Perfect. Well, welcome back. This is Chatting Contract with Carla. We are excited to have our next guest for this series. Um, so as you know, I am with the Orange County Inland Empire SBDC Center for Contracting, and we run these series throughout the various times of the month to provide you with insight from some of our agencies and partners on how it is to do business with them. So today we have the Procurement Department Comerica Bank. We have Ms. Teresa Lefevre. I am excited to have her here. Her title there is Vice President of Supplier Diversity Management. So Teresa, welcome for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I love it. I'm excited. So right off the bat, how does somebody do business with Comerica? Well, we do have a supplier registration portal on our website, so you can go to uh, www.comerica.com. And if you just type suppliers into the search bar, it'll take you to an option to go to the uh, supplier page. And then you just register your company name there. But I always tell people to kind of make a two-step process. Do that, you know, check the box, and then send me an email. Because um, I'm, it's faster for me if I just get the email, I can look at the information, decide you know, where it needs to go within our procurement process and get it in front of the right people. Cool. So for those watching, make sure not only register, but you want to make sure you send Teresa that. Yes. Email. That's key. Please. That's the key thing for this is make sure you follow up with that email. Um, yes. in, in addition to that, Teresa, what are you looking for in a supplier or a contractor? So when I uh, do initial interviews with suppliers, I generally, one of the first things I ask is, do you have any experience in financial services? So, you know, that's, I mean, it's not necessarily a disqualifier if you haven't, but it's just, it's a smoother path. I can, I can follow what maybe other banks have done before me and just, I don't reinvent the wheel, right? So if I know you've done business with, with some other banks in our um, area in our size range, I know that you know what is needed as far as uh, regulatory requirements and risk and all those kinds of things that are special to the financial services industry. Um, other experience with, uh, in other industries is also helpful. Uh, it helps to give us a sense of, um, you know, that, that you've been there, you know how to do it, you can, you can work with a large organization. As I said, it's not a disqualifier. Um, we do work with businesses who are new, you know, startups. Um, it's rare. I will say it's very rare that we work with a startup. But <clears throat> but I just like to know that, that there's experience there, there's a, a success story behind you. That's always very helpful. And, and to that, to that, Teresa, let me let me just I guess point out. So for those that are emailing you after they mm -hmm. register as a supplier, it would behoove them to send you a capability statement, so more information of what it is that they do. Yeah, generally a, a capability statement. And it can be, I mean, for the first intro, you know, it can just be a one pager that just gives me a little bit of information about um, what you do. If you are able to list any of your customers, that gives me a good picture. Um, size and scope of the business, uh, annual revenue is a good indicator. Number of employees is a good indicator. Now, you know, that these things vary by what industry you're in, um, but uh, those are helpful, helpful tools um, to let us know a little bit more about the business. And then Generally, if we're going to have a, go to the next introductory level meeting, <clears throat> excuse me, then maybe a broader PowerPoint presentation or something that um, just gives a little bit more detail. Don't send me a 50 page PowerPoint as an intro because I probably won't get past the first three pages um, and, and then make a decision. So, you know, try and condense it down to the most important, most valuable information in just a few slides so that people can really digest it and and get what they need to know about your company to know if there's a if there's opportunity to move forward. Perfect. So so the key thing is to make sure they get straight to the point within that short deck, whether it's a one pager or a three pager, just get to the point, really showcase what yes. you're able to do, what you've done yep. and your strength. Yep. Yes. And it's also helpful if they've done a little bit of homework and, and um, know a little bit about us, right? Um, the most challenging conversations I have with suppliers are when they don't really, they don't know who Comerica is, they may have not heard our name before. Um, and so then, you know, it starts out with them asking, so, you know, what do you buy? That's not usually a very meaningful conversation for either of us. So okay. it's helpful if the suppliers do their homework, they know a little bit about Comerica Bank, you know, we're, we're a public company, so all of our information is out there. Um, you know, you can look at, at whatever you need to look at. Our, our um, website has a ton of information about us. Um, that all that that all adds to having a very fruitful conversation. Perfect. Now, with that said, what are the some of the like the top five services or contracts that you guys look for? 
Sure. So obviously, as a bank, you know, we're, we're very heavy into the services. Uh, we don't buy a whole lot of product. Um, we don't buy very many things that are manufactured. Um, so technology, of course, is our bread and butter. Um, technology drives everything we do, and we want to stay on the forefront of everything that's latest and greatest and, and um, providing the most value to our, our clients. Um, we also, though, have a physical footprint, so we need all the things that go with that. We, we you know, we have um, banking centers and office buildings that we that we own and, and that we have to maintain, and so we buy construction and HVAC and uh, landscaping and janitorial services and those types of things. Um, we also have everything that goes along with having a large uh, set of uh, employees or colleagues, uh, as we refer to ourselves. So we have we need all those HR support systems. We need training, we need um, benefits, we need insurance, we need um, office supplies, uh, you know, we travel, um, we hope someday, again, soon to travel, um, and, and all of those, those types of things. So the, but the top things, I think, would be technology, um, physical footprint support, so facilities and construction management, um, and then uh, our supporting our colleagues. So anything in the in the training space or the um, HR space, anything that that goes around providing uh, support to our colleagues. Okay, and then I know you've answered this question kind of in our conversations, but what are some of the common mistakes that you see uh, with people that are registering to be a supplier or contractor with Comerica Bank? You know, the only thing that I'll really call a mistake is if if you offer something that we don't that we don't need. I mean, it, it's just kind of do the do the analysis of you know, if I'm if I'm selling jewelry, do I really want to approach Comerica Bank? Probably not. Um, so you know, just do those those little things in the beginning. Um, and again, things that can make people more successful is just making sure that you're preparing properly. And so bring the things that are going to help me to help you. So for me, that is uh, any, anything that you've done before in the financial services industry that helps me just clear a path. Because you know one of the challenges of my job is that there's only one of me for the bank. And so um, I talk to every uh, diverse supplier that is trying to do business with us. And obviously I am not an expert in every area of business that I talk to people about. So oftentimes, particularly in the technology space where things are getting incredibly complex, um, always have been really, but you know, there's a lot of, a lot of technology out there that um, for an end result provides a very useful and valuable product for Comerica and for Comerica's clients. But on the back end, it's very hard for someone, a lay person like me to understand it. So if you come to me and say, I've got this XYZ app that does, you know, ABC, I might say, oh, that's interesting. But if you come to me and say, we just met with another Fortune 100 bank and we offered them this app and the way they used it was this and the value it provided for their customers was this, then that helps me see how I can help you in Comerica's structure, get to the right people and have the right conversation conversations to see if that's something that Comerica is going to be pursuing. So just be prepared to have that kind of a conversation so that um, so that I can help take your your business forward. That's a great that that's a great tip actually. <laughs> uh, you know, because people I don't think they know how to approach supplier diversity managers, you know. So it all goes back to that pitch. You want to make sure that you pitch yourself correctly. And like you said, if you're able to showcase that you've spoken to other like businesses like yours, um, yeah. you're gonna have a more not want to say open mind, but more understanding of how it can be implemented into your organization. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I don't need to fully understand what your, whatever it is you're offering, whatever service it is, I don't need to fully understand how it works. I just need to know within Comerica, the way our channels are built and the way our work structure is, which part of the organization do I need to go to, to make sure I'm getting people who are going to understand what it is that you do and be able to determine if it's something that will bring value for us. And so telling me a story about how somebody else did it gives me a little bit of a, a tip on how to get started. Wow, okay, I like, I like that. Um, and then with that said though, do you guys have some sort of supplier diversity goals at all? At Absolutely, okay. yes. Our, our supplier diversity program is very mature. Comerica has been committed to supplier diversity for a very long time. So we have a um, goal setting structures in place. We have quarterly reporting. Um, the supplier diversity uh, objective is on the executive diversity scorecard. 
So it's tied to our executives' compensation. Um, performance is tracked throughout the layers of the bank. Um, I have an internal supplier diversity advisory committee that I meet with on a quarterly basis, and it has representation from all over the bank. And, and those folks help me to make sure that we're doing the right things uh, to drive better um, inclusion and access uh, within all areas of the bank to allow supply, diverse suppliers to, to be able to get to us and um, to really try to craft relationships that are, that are valuable and ongoing. Um, because, you know, Comerica is a relationship bank, but not only with our clients, we treat our supply base that way as well. I mean, it's just a culture within our, within our Comerica community. Um, so we want to not just bring in a supplier for a one-time activity, right? We want to build that relationship. We want to cultivate it. We want to grow those relationships and get the best out of that relationship over a long term. So um, it's very important to us to, to make sure that we're choosing the right suppliers that we know we can, we can be with for the longer relationships. And to that, on your website, I'm assuming you, they're able to see what diverse um, suppliers you're looking for, whether it's minority or veterans or, or women-owned businesses, uh, LGBT. Yes. Yep, we do have a supplier diversity page um, and you can get you can search for it or you can click on diversity. Um, there's a diversity link at the very bottom of the Comerica landing page. And that and then at the bottom of the diversity page is the link to the supplier diversity um, page. Uh, so we recognize the, you know, a, a pretty broad group. We, we recognize all the ethnic minorities recognized by the US government, uh, women owned businesses, veteran owned businesses, LGBTQ and disabled persons. So we try to cover the whole envelope of, of the diverse spectrum. Perfect. And then for those watching, if you're interested in getting certified in any of those different um, areas at the SBDC here, we're able to assist you at no cost. So we'll, we won't do it for you, but we walk you <laughs> through the entire application. I've become your help desk. I've been doing this for 15 years, so I can kind of maneuver you in and out of all the, out of all the applications. So something to think about it if you're looking to do business with some of these types of industries. Um, and with that, one final thought, Teresa, is what, what tip can you give to those watching that are thinking, maybe I want to approach Comerica Bank and do business with them? So well, for me, I, you know, I, I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing supplier diversity for more than 25 years, a couple different um, industries. I've been with Comerica for uh, almost 11. So what I've developed over the years is, you know, it boils down to three Ps for me. And they are preparation, persistence, and patience. So on the preparation side, we've already talked about how important it is to know what your potential customer needs and, and what they're looking for and, and if you think you can do business with them. And the importance of knowing what you do and how it fits into your, your uh, customers, potential customer supply base. And then on the persistent side, follow-up is incredibly important. And I said follow-up, not stalk. There's a difference. It's an important difference. Um, you know, I, I don't mind when people check in with me from time to time. I'm not very um, good about people who email me every day, but you know, if you check in with me once a quarter or every six months, depending on what's going on in your commodity area, I'm totally fine with that. And I think it's a good practice. And then patience, you know, um, not everything is up for bid every day. So if you see me today and we just closed a bid on your commodity last week, I don't need to talk to you really for another couple of years because we do, you know, three to five year contracts. So um, timing is important and um, it requires patience to make sure that you're at the right place at the right time uh, to be uh, top of my email list, uh, you know, my inbox when that, when that bid comes up. So um, preparation, persistence, and patience uh, generally will get you where you want to go in this, in this business anyway. <laughs> That's a really good tip. And, and I mean, you, you laid it all out perfect. I mean, you have your three P's and follow that essentially. If you, if you really want to look at Comerica, you know, research, like she says, you want to research, you want to understand, you know, what they do, what they buy and get yourself prepared for that. And registering in their systems, emailing Teresa is fantastic, but don't just email her hi, obviously email her, you know, information about your business, showcase your business and your successes. So Teresa, I thank you for, for spending this moment with us. I appreciate you giving this information to our watchers that are that are looking at this and wondering, well, maybe it is a, it's time for me to approach Comerica Bank. So I thank you for spending the time with us. 
Oh, my pleasure. And I don't know, I have a one slide that has my contact information on it. If you want me to put it up or I can just yeah. send it to you and you can make it available however you- Go ahead and put it up, we got- put it, I'll just share my screen for one quick second here. Perfect. But remember, don't stalk her. <laughs> you know, give her the valuable information. Yeah, so people can do a screen capture and you've got our, um, our uh, website there and my email, my phone number, and just a little reminder about creating a capabilities presentation and uh, registering online in our portal. So that's that's everything that you that you need. Perfect. Well, with that, Ms. Teresa, thank you so much for spending this day um, you know, talking to us. Those watching are, are going to be able to freeze that, that particular page and take down that information Perfect. as well. So Perfect. I thank you and have a wonderful day. And for those watching, stay tuned for more episodes. Thank you, Carla.